look and see what, and see what happens. Tom, you talk about your quarterbacks and how they're simulating and maybe especially rising. Yeah, well, it's still really early, but uh, so far Cam has shown that he has a strong arm. That's without question. Uh, he's a smart kid, picking things up well. Uh, there's so little of the offense installed right now that it's tough to get a, a real beat on uh, how they're progressing because uh, you know, it's just in the infancy stage. But, but uh, you know, when we get back from spring break and you know, about a week or two into that, after that, we'll start to get a little bit who's uh, sorting things out and uh, enjoying things. And, uh, Two guys with starting experience in Mesa Mice, Shelly and Huntley are pushing each other as always. They are, absolutely. And, and right now with Cam, getting back to Cam, we're not still certain whether he's eligible or not. It's okay, it's still up in the air. So until that gets decided, uh, you know, we will have a definite plan and uh, to distribute the reps. Do you think he'll know by the time you get back this morning? I hope so, but I doubt it. Probably a week or two after that. Okay. Uh, Why do you do all that? hype that's going on so far about you guys? I ignore it. I ignore it because we got a lot of work to do. Uh, we're very average today. Uh, I wish we had 40 minutes for our hands instead of 20. But, uh, you know, we, we tune to that. And that's, you know, that's something that I think this team has done a good job through, through the years of not not uh, paying attention to the outside noise and just trying to take care of our business. So how, much is, how much has Ludwig changed since, uh, since he left here? Well, he's evolved just like... Uh, the game is about it. I mean, it's, uh, you know, the basic premise of the offense and the basic philosophies haven't changed, but, but uh, you know, the spread element has become more prevalent uh, for Andy. And, uh, you know, a lot of the route structures are similar, but he's added things. And, and so he's just evolved along with, uh, with, the, with the game itself. How's it been having him back? It's great. Great having him back. Um, he's uh, a consummate professional. He's, he's organized, he's detailed, and uh, it's great to have him uh, in charge. How's it watching him and Harding work together? Good. They seem to get off real well. In fact, the whole offensive staff is really seems to uh, have chemistry. And uh, you know, that's a, a credit to Andy to come in here and, and uh, you know, start to develop that culture in that, in, in that room. Kyle, you, you've recruited some. He's like, trying to dominate. Oh, sorry. You know, no, you recruited some offensive line. linemen, uh, <laughs> and, and you're bringing in some different guys. Talk about the transfers and kind of the offensive line and then some of the backups that are going to be fighting for the job. Well, right now, there's uh, everything is, is wide open. We've got three guys returning that have a lot of experience. Orlando Yamana, uh, Darren Paulo, and Nick Ford. But uh, other than that, there's not a lot of guys that play a lot of reps. So everyone will get their shot. Uh, we, we have, uh, I think it's four, three or four kids coming in this summer. Uh, two or three freshmen and, and uh, JC transfer who will who you know, uh, need to get a good look out in fall camp. But uh, the bottom line is we got to come away with eight or nine guys that we feel confident in. Right now we're not there yet. Uh, how, are, how are Chayden yeah, cut off? What's that? Uh, how are Chayden and Ben looking so far? Chayden and Johnson and Ben, uh, they've got a lot of potential. Uh, we're still, you know, it's, when you have a new holder, a new kicker, uh, it takes a little bit of time to get that chemistry down. And so uh, right now we're not real smooth in the operation of snap to hold the kick, but as far as the raw ability and the talent, it's there. And uh, you know, Ben's got a strong leg, uh, Chain's got a strong leg, but it's all just start to, you know, they got to get synced up, not synced up right now. They work together for you know, literally thousands of more reps until it starts to click. Are you familiar enough with the new targeting proposal to have a reaction to it? Yeah. Um, you know, it's tough to say. I mean, I'm all for safety and, and, and and uh, you know, the health of the players, uh, that's a pretty stiff penalty now, that second targeting for you know, the rest of that game and another full game. I mean, I don't know what the answer is. Um, it's good to see that we're here, that uh, they're going to evaluate it upstairs where they can look at it over and over and over and get it right. But uh, I really don't have an opinion on it. I, I understand it and I know it, but I'm still not sure if it's a, if it's a positive or negative. And then you've had success with transfers like Carrington and Manny Bowen might fit into that category in terms of having some baggage from the other school. What does that give you? Does the Carrington example give you confidence that, that Manny will, will work out? And it does, but but Manny, I think, will work out. You know, regardless of what track record we have, I think he's a really good kid and uh, made some not so great decisions earlier in his life, but. Uh, it's really the, 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 the attitude of the kid and, and how he views, you know, if he's a guy that comes in and, and says, you know, is just kind of uh, you know, not really 
concerned about the past and doesn't care and doesn't, you know, doesn't admit or realize the mistakes he's made, that's a different issue than a guy that comes in and understands that, hey, I didn't do things the right way, I want to make things right. Now. So it's a case by case basis. We're hoping that it, uh, it turns out because he's a heck of a player. On the field, what is your impression of him so far? Very good, very good. He's, uh, I think uh, we're going to come away with a pretty good linebacking crew when all is said and done. <clears throat> Francis Bernard is not out here, so it would be nice if he was out here so they could work together. But uh, that will have to transpire uh, in the fall camp. You talk about how uh, there's competition all the time and, and you, know, you don't really have a depth chart. You get somebody like Tyler Huntley says, yeah, I'm the starter. Is that something you're comfortable with, guys <clears throat> thinking they are the starters, even though you're expecting them to compete each practice? Well, he is the number one guy right now, and so I guess technically, by definition, he's the starter if you have to play tomorrow. But uh, I think everybody in this program understands that it's what you've done lately. You've got to continue to compete, you've got to continue to produce. And uh, if that doesn't happen, you get replaced. And so and having that confidence and that swagger, I guess you could say, I think is a positive thing. So maybe even guys who aren't necessarily the starter, you want them to have it too. Sure. Yeah, I want everyone to have that mentality. Yeah. Hey, well, you know, I'm going to go in a position. And, uh, you know, I you know, deserve, I deserve to, you know, whatever. As long as they're working hard, you know, so and not so and that type of thing, we're in good shape. Uh, do you guys, do you cut the guys loose for spring break, or are they still going to be here lifting? And no, they, they're, uh, you know, by an institute role, they're, they're required to, uh, you know, there's, a, there's a time frame of which you have to get your practices in if you're going to use spring break, and that will alter things, and so uh, they will be going in different directions. They will be back uh, Sunday evening before school starts, and so we can miss coming Sunday and ready to resume. You can spend a lot of time in the film room though, spring break, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 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 they showed up with uh, that emergency.